Cancer happens when cells mutate and start to grow uncontrollably. It's not long before the cancer cells outcompete the healthy cells and a tumour forms. Imagine the cancer is an oak forest. A forest grows in a localised place, gradually increasing in size. As it does this, it starts to run out of the nutrients it needs and growth starts to slow down. Indeed, as the tumour mass expands, it often gets further away from the bloodstream and also starts to lose access to crucial molecules it needs for growth, most notably oxygen. Obviously, the oak trees cannot move, and so to continue future growth, they produce acorns. These acorns can fall into streams and be transported to other places. If the acorn ends up in a hospitable environment for growth, it can grow into a tree and start a new forest. In much the same way as the oak trees, growing tumours are usually derived from epithelial cells that do not have the capability to move. In order for this to happen, the cells must undergo a dramatic change in shape to transform themselves into a motile cell. This process is known as the epithelial to mesenchymal transition, or EMT, and once it has occurred, the now motile cell can migrate through the normal tissues and into the bloodstream, transporting it around the body to sites where it can revert back to a stationary cell and initiate a secondary tumour, or metastases. Look at it this way. Different types of seeds have different optimal growing conditions, and so they will each grow best in different soil types. The same goes for different types of cancers, which favour certain secondary sites in the body. In over 60% of metastatic breast cancers, migrating tumour cells initiate secondary tumours in the lungs, liver or bone. At this point, the cancer is incurable and the treatment options are much more limited as surgery is no longer possible. With this in mind, my research revolves around finding a way to stop metastasis. By halting the seed from leaving or poisoning the soil, it could be possible to prevent this cell migration. My name is Henry Pegg and I'm a PhD student in the Paul Shaw Lab at the University of Manchester.